It's time now for an in-depth look at the market action this afternoon. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Mr. Daniel Yu, Global Strategist at Uanta Securities. Mr. Yu, thank you for making time today. Thank you for having me today. Well, it seems like the markets are hanging on every word from President Trump uh, with the high-level trade talks coming up with China. Some think they might reach a deal sooner rather than later. This seems to be lifting sentiment. Wall Street was up overnight. Korean stocks started higher but ended flat. What's the story today? Sure. As you said, there's a continuation of confusion regarding what's happening to the political front uh, between U.S. and China. Uh, if you look at the dollar movement, uh, it broadly have supported on Thursday and actually uh, risen, appreciated against uh, various other currencies uh, with the possibility that U.S. and China trade deal will be actually be made sometime in October. Uh, of course, there was a news about possibility of impeachment uh, uh, for Trump uh, that has resulted into quite sharp decline the day before. But because of this positive news of the U.S.-China trade deal might happen, uh, might get recovered uh, quite significantly. Uh, if you look at the U.S. market, uh, S&P was up about 0.6 percent. NASDAQ was up over 1 percent. Uh, but the European market in general was down because of the news that uh, the concern about the political front. Uh, also, the Chinese market seems to be taking quite a beating today. Uh, the, uh, the Shanghai index was down uh, more than 0.6%, uh, and also the uh, Shenzhen index is down 1.8%. Um, so uh, in general, uh, still, the political side is confusing, and we're not seeing the actual results yet, uh, except maybe Japan. But in overall, uh, everybody's very confused about what's happening in terms of the political issues and then, uh, and also the trade issues. Yeah, staying with the political issues, President Trump now facing an impeachment inquiry. Obviously, if this gains serious traction, it would be a significant drain on sentiment. Uh, but how much of a factor do you think it is right now and going forward? Well, as you said, uh, the news of the possible impeachment process uh, has resulted into a quite sharp drop of the U.S. market the day before, uh, but uh, yesterday it recovered. Uh, but in any case, the impeachment process seems to be started. Uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, said on Tuesday that the United States uh, House representative would launch a formal impeachment inquiry against President Donald Trump uh, in regards to uh, the issues uh, with the foreign uh, foreign powers. Uh, in any case, um, the actual possibility of impeachment is very low uh, because um, you need a two-third vote uh, to pass uh, the actual impeachment. Uh, so the process might start, but actual results might not be coming through uh, um, in, in, in real concern. But nevertheless, if this process starts, uh, what that means is that Trump is going to be a bit more desperate in terms of trying to boost the economy. Uh, you need that uh, to go through uh, so that he can win the election process for next year. If he doesn't win the election, then uh, after that, it could be a very, very negative news for himself. Uh, so therefore, he would do everything possible to uh, win the election next year, uh, which means that he has to settle some kind of trade deal with China. So we do think that a China trade deal will happen sometime in October. In terms of the size of that deal, we're not sure. But nevertheless, uh, you need some kind of boosting measure in order to keep the economic growth rate above 2 percent. Got it. Well, as we just heard, the U.S. and uh, Japan have signed a trade deal. And uh, Prime Minister Abe saying it's win-win, as we just heard. Uh, do investors think this is a big deal? And for Korea, as a competitor of Japan in the U.S. market, what's the impact there? Uh, well, at least signing of any kind of trade talk deal is positive news because you already know that the continuation of concern about the trade deal not happening between U.S. and China and Korea versus uh, Japan and also all these things were putting dent to the equity market performances. Uh, but um, signing of any kind of deal between any uh, major countries is positive news. And clearly this news of uh, Japan and, and U.S. making the deal uh, is positive. But nevertheless, in terms of who really wins out of this trade deal, we're not sure. I think that is probably a lot more favorable to U.S. rather than Japan. 
Uh, so in any case, in terms of looking at the various valuations and economic conditions of countries, uh, we're not really in favor of Japan in terms of the growth rates or the, uh, the equity market performances in the future. Uh, but in overall, uh, we think that the, the process of the trade could accelerate a little bit further uh, in the future rather than decelerating in the, before, uh, which could be positive news in general. Uh, in terms of whether Korea can achieve something similar uh, with the U.S., we're not sure. But you, uh, as you know, Korea have decided to purchase more of LNG and also uh, spend more on defense budget. So all in all, I think um, various governments are spending more to boost the economy, so which is positive news. All right, Mr. Yu, thank you very much for joining us today. We'll have to leave it there. We appreciate your insights. Thank you very much.